Okay, second half of rear suspension arm replacement. Um, Mercedes W202. And again, I picked a lovely day to work on it, but hey, keeps cleaning my garage and actually being able to get in there and do something, right? More fun to sit here and do on this stuff. Um, there's not a lot to talk about these rear suspension arms. I mean, they're just basically remove, match up, replace. Um, a collection of 19 and 17 mil bolts. Um, I'm doing the the upper here right now. Uh, it's a 19 on there right now, and the rear bolt is a 19 as well. Uh, the front inner two here. And I look to be 17s. I haven't even looked at them yet, but uh, yeah, pull them off one at a time and do them. There's there isn't much to talk about them. Just pull them off and replace them. That's about it. Okay, so on this one you're going to put the front, it's like a ball joint, uh, on the bottom. You're going to put that on first, uh, tighten that up, 17, uh, and then we're going to go uh, to the back and we'll get it lined up in the hole. And now, again, I'll show you the eccentric nut and, or sorry, bolt. And you see the washer, the eccentric washer, it's got a slot in it, uh, so this these will move with each other. Um, you know, like a cam, a cam motion to move the, uh, to, to press on the, uh, the arm mount, uh, to move the arm in and out. So if you've marked where the arm was before you pull it off, the inner part, kind of just trace it with an awl or something, uh, scratch a little line in there so you know basically where it was, uh, when you put it out, how far inner, how far inner out it was on the mount. And, uh, and you can basically get it as close as possible before you go to the alignment shot. Okay, so we've got the rear eccentric washer and nut uh, bolt on here. I haven't put the, the nut on yet, but as you can see, the washer is sticking out. I'm going to try and get some light on there for you. Um, the washer is sticking out past the suspension mount. Now, in order to move them, you're going to have to turn the bolt itself. You'll turn that until it's pushed the inner con the, the control arm, the, the inner part, inner or outer. You see where I've scribbled? Yeah, I'm trying to do this with two, two hands is kind of a pain. I, thought, I need another finger to point. <laughs> you can see where I marked the line. Well, maybe you can't on camera. But I marked a faint line on there. So I'm going to try and line that up by, you'll, you'll turn um, the eccentric bolt on this side. You'll turn it with, well, I'm going to have to use vice grips, but you'll probably use a 10 millimeter Allen key. Um, you'll turn that until the the arm is, is in or out at the right spot, and then you'll use the 19 mil bolt on the back to tighten it. You'll just hold it with the front and hold it in place uh, with the Allen key, tighten with the back. Um, if you just tighten it with the back, it'll spin and uh, put the alignment out. So like I said, adjust it with the front nut and then put the bolt on, or uh, with the, the front bolt and then put the nut on and tighten it up. Okay, rear upper arm out. Um, this is the inner side, this is the outer side that attaches to the hub with the, uh, the, the pin bushing there. And uh, that's about it, just putting the new one in now. It took about two minutes to pull the old one out, two 19s at the top. Um, at the top two 19s, two 17s at the bottom on the, on the spindle. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This It's just going to go you know, one at a time, like I said, just make sure you got them in the right direction or else you pull all of them out you won't remember which way they go in if they go this way or that way whatever pull them out one at a time you'll be good okay now we talked about bushings before um rubber bushings suspension bushings and tightening them while the weight is on the car and other ones you don't really have to now this one because it's got a sleeve pin a, a sleeve bushing in here this is going to rotate yeah this is going to rotate inside the mount around the sleeve. So this will, this this one, this end, is fine to tighten while the car is up in the air. The other side, now it's just got the metal insert and it goes straight into the rubber and the rubber is attached to the, to, the, to the arm. Now if you pinch this tight, if you bolt that in, the movement is just going to tear the rubber. So what you want to do is tighten it well, there's weight on the suspension while the car's up on uh, uh, the car's down on its wheels. Uh, this one's a little bit of a bitch, the top one, to do um, 
when the weight's on the car. So what I'm going to do is just take my floor jack and put it under the lower suspension arm and jack it up a few inches to take uh, to put weight on it, and then I'll uh, I'll tighten it once it's uh, once the the weight or a lot of the weight is sitting on the jack. So that should uh, be about the same as having the weight of the car on the ground. Okay, now since the rear lower control arm has that plastic cover we removed last time to do the shock absorber, uh, you can't really jack under the plastic cover. And me being a little too lazy to take two 10 millimeter bolts off and pull that out. I'm just going to jack it under the rear wheel hub, um, not the disc itself, but under the center hub. And as you'll see, it just takes the weight off the suspension bushing. And then we can tighten that now that it's up here and basically in the same height it's going to be when it's riding. We'll tighten the top one. Okay, important note on the lower... It goes between the, the, the lower front of the spindle to here. This is the, uh, right by the fuel pump. That is the, we're on the passenger side, by the way. That's the one that adjusts your towing and tow out for um, doing your rear alignment. So there's an eccentric washer on one side. Um, here. So as the, the washer will spin with the nut as you're tightening it, and that will determine where how far the arm moves in and out back and forth um, anyway so you're probably gonna have to go to an alignment shop after this try and keep it when you pull it out you're basically gonna see the lines where you'll see the spot where the old arm was just try and line it up with that as good as you can for now but you'll need to go do an alignment after this anyway um, another note the front where is it where did I just put it um, there it is. See, there's the front part. It's eccentric as well. Now this, I wish I had gotten a new one because I didn't know that this was a uh, an Allen head that some mechanic in the past uh, stripped. <laughs> so it looks like it's like a 10 millimeter Allen key or it possibly was a Torx. I honestly don't know. I haven't looked at the other side yet. But uh, this was either an Allen head or a Torx. It was fairly simple to just hold it with a pair of vice grips and uh, twist it out. It's not on you know, like a million PSI or pound-feet of torque or anything. It's on pretty, uh, probably about 30 or 40 pound-feet. So it wasn't that tough to take out. Just held it with a pair of vice grips. But um, yeah, this is the adjustment for toe. So uh, you have to be uh, uh, be very careful putting it back in that you put it back in the right spot.